It all happened so quickly. After eight weeks of strategy and planning, building and practice, our season came to a screeching halt along with so much else. We wish we had some better news here today. Uh, it's about 2 p.m. Eastern time today, uh, first announced uh, officially, and finally, they have suspended the season. Uh, championships are canceled. And even now, there it all sits, much as it did on that day in March when everything shut down. The competition robot, unfinished. School, closed. People, separated. So with no season, no team, and no contact, we decided to help by thinking and acting differently. We had time, the ability, and resources to connect with teammates, our community, and other first teams in ways we had never imagined just a few weeks before. One of our first steps was the understanding that with so many people out of work and away from school, there would be increased demand on our social services. We decided to collect food and toiletries to stock our community food bank. More than 64 pounds of resources to people now in need. Next, we knew that our team's outreach efforts had to change. Our Cyber Seniors program shifted from in-person visits to sending handwritten notes and helping out on community drive-bys to let them know that they had not been forgotten. Our FLL Junior program reaches across town lines. So with travel restrictions in place, we recorded and sent out Lego Tech Challenges videos for them to build and solve. And with so many parents and their kids cooped up with nothing to do, we took some of the best activities from our STEM for All event and adapted them to be done at home. Since our build team didn't have a robot to build anymore, we asked local healthcare workers what we could do to help. They said they needed something to make wearing masks more comfortable. So we designed, manufactured, and delivered thousands of ear savers to local hospitals and medical offices. We recognized that it was important to keep team morale up during this time. So we organized nightly fun mystery night and cyber babies activities. We also started a flock of cyber night campaign to make sure every cyber night knew that they weren't forgotten. We also looked for ways to keep other teams engaged. We started a 12 days of outreach social media campaign. Every day for 12 consecutive days, we posted about things that our team was doing in the community and challenged other teams to post about their activities. This ended up touching hundreds of teams and getting thousands of impressions. And when New England First needed help with its virtual end of year awards, the Cyber Night Media team volunteered to help assemble clips for the ceremony and create a season recap video. As the shutdown entered into its third month and with the first season behind us, our focus turned back to our community. We created a video that showed how strong and resilient we are. And then when our veterans needed help bringing a Memorial Day service to the community, we set up and streamed the event live to thousands. Now, more than a hundred days later, things are slowly getting back to normal. We learned a lot this spring about resiliency and ourselves. And maybe most importantly, that robotics really never was just about robots. It's about what our robotics community can accomplish when given a goal.